I'm about to go shopping, but I'm not going alone. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, how are you? So we're gonna do some shopping. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hit the mall, yep. and I'm off to Value Village. Perfect, okay. let's find a deal. Let's do it. I'm teaming up with one of the hosts from CBC Street Sense, Mercedes Gastambide. Many of you have been calling out Value Village for its questionable pricing practices. So we're putting that to the test. Just minutes into our shopping trip, I find plenty of price tags that don't add up. So I've got a black three ring binder. Value Village price, $2.99 but the original price is right beside it. And check out this bento box. It's priced at Dollarama for $4, and it's selling here at $3.99. That's absolutely ridiculous. We share some of our sticker shocks with consumer sociologist Marcus Giesler. It's still got the original price sticker on, so $3.50. And then when you look over on the other side, $3.99. Yes, unacceptable and misleading for consumers. So what's the expectation that consumers have when they're going into a thrift store? The expectation is that they want a deal that is better than the average deal. But what's a consumer to do when those cost comparisons aren't so clear? Time for me and Mercedes to do a little digging. Hey! At Value Village, I find a cat food dish. Does it look like this? Mercedes finds what looks to be the same one at Dollarama. This one's been used. It's selling for $4.49 here at Valley Village. This is two bucks. That one's $2. In housewares, it's the same story with these no. similar milk jugs. So mine's $1.99. Can you find one at Dollarama? $1.50. Next, we spot some socks with the same tags. What do yours look like? Mine have monkeys and rainbows. OK, I don't have those, but I do have another cute pattern. OK, mine are $2.99. How much are yours? $2.99, mine are $1.50. What? What's going on? This former Value Village pricer is giving us an inside look at how they price products. It was probably like the most stressful job I've had. We've agreed to conceal her identity because she fears professional repercussions for speaking out. So we have our system. You would have to grade it based on the brand and the condition of the clothing, and then it would spit out the numbers for us. We speak to more than a dozen current and former employees, many who say their supervisors pushed them to price products higher. It would always like go through my racks and just show me how I could have priced something different, but it was always how I could have priced something to be higher, even when it really wasn't worth the amount that they wanted me to sell it for. And get this. When they're selling things that come from Dollarama and Giant Tiger and like cutting off those price tags and making us price them higher than it actually is worth, it's like you could go to the retail store and buy it cheaper at this point. Did you have a sense that this pricing system was working, that it was fair? No, definitely not. Turns out bogus bargains extend beyond Dollarama to big box stores, too. Hey, Chelsea, we're at Walmart. Check out this George tank top. Here, it's $5.49. Mine is $5. Really? That's a 50 cent difference. And then there's this pot from Ikea. $2.49 at Value Village. New at Ikea, you can buy this for a dollar. Ridiculous. So this is like, what, 2.5 times the original price for a used item. Mm -hmm. That's just the worst case of exploitation. Consumers with a tighter budget need our support. They need extra honesty, extra sincerity, yeah. and extra transparency, and not this. We want to know what these savvy shoppers think our Value Village finds are really worth. Can you spot a deal? Yeah, I think so. We bought this muffin tin at Value Village for $5.49. It's dirty. <laughs> used? Yes, definitely yeah. used. Now, what do you think that sells for new at Dollarama? Is the price higher or lower? Lower. I don't know. Five fifty for Dollarama seems like a lot. Lower. Lower. Four seventy-five. No way, yeah. It's crazy. That's tough. What about this IKEA plant pot? We got it from Value Village for four dollars ninety-nine cents. What do you think it's selling for new at IKEA? 
Higher or lower than $4.99? But I'm gonna go with higher than $4.99. Lower. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> but like, yeah, the no, price, it's it still, <laughs> it's a dollar. And shoppers are expecting a bigger deal with this t-shirt from Walmart. So we paid $4.99 at Value Village. What do you think the retail price is? I'm gonna go with higher. I'm gonna say higher. All right. That's basically the same price. Uh, I am surprised because the way that they pitch it is like Valley Village is where you're supposed to save. It's better to go there than actually going to the big box retailers. Uh, you know, it doesn't make you feel like uh, you're getting your value out of your money. Quite, quite the opposite, actually, right? Their name says it, right? It should be value, not, you know, value for them, <laughs> right? Value Village does not respond to our emails, but they've previously told CBC News their goal is to provide great value and selection. But they also say that their staff might not always get it right. So if a customer thinks something's been mispriced, they can always speak to a manager. Should consumers be expected to do the type of price comparisons that we did in store? Consumers should not make those choices. We're not supercomputers. And what message does this send to consumers when they can go and buy a new one for yes. less than buying a used one? So there are two messages here. Both are problematic. Number one, I cannot trust Value Village. Mm. Number two, sustainability and the circular economy is marketing bull****. Mm. Because this is the kind of material experience that consumers have every day where cynicism builds up and they say, you know what, why should I care about sustainability if I'm constantly being you know, misled and, and deceived.